It usually takes around 18 mouse clicks or so to assemble a component, but you tend to assemble a component the same way most of the time. To save time and effort, you can use what are known as component interfaces to define how components should be assembled, and you can reduce those 18 mouse clicks down to drag and drop. For example, here I have my bolt that I want to assemble. I can grab it, drag it to the assembly, let it go, and there it is. Let's go back to our working directory and drag again, and there's another bolt. And just to show you a couple more times again how easy this is, let me move to another location, drag, drop, and the component is assembled. Another example to show how easy this can be, let's assemble that bolt into this assembly. And this time I'm going to change on the dashboard from interface to geometry to interface to interface. And now I have these different preview areas where I can say, hey, let's go and put the bolt into all these different locations. Because here I'm taking advantage of having component interfaces in both the component that I'm assembling and components in the assembly. Hit the check mark and there you can see I've populated a whole bunch of bolts into this assembly with a minimal number of mouse clicks. Let's take a look at how to create a component interface. I have a part open and if you take a look on the ribbon we have a component interface command. I'll click on it and we get the component interface dialog box. First, I'm going to change the name. I like to call it something like place or locate to explain what this is used for. And this one I'm actually going to append on here, cylinder, because I'm going to create a second component interface in case someone wants to assemble this using the axis. And we have the choice of specifying whether this is going to be used for placing the component or receiving components or either. A lot of times you can just leave either, but I'm going to change this to placing. Now for the constraints that I'm going to use, let's click on automatic and I'll pick the cylindrical surface. And for the second constraint, I'm going to use this flat planar surface. And since I picked a flat planar surface, I have the ability to choose whether this is going to correspond to the old make constraint or the align constraint. With the make constraint, the surface normal vectors that you pick will end up pointing in opposite directions. In other words, two surfaces will face each other. With align, surface normal vectors will point in the same direction. You can also choose whether it's going to be tangent, point on surface, or edge on surface in terms of how this is used. But I want this used for a mate constraint. And that's all the constraints that I need. Be aware there's also a criteria tab over here. I'll mention that when I am placing the component. You can write rules to control where this can be placed. And the properties tab is just another place where you can change the name. And you could also write a description if you want. So let's hit the check mark. And if you take a look in the model tree, there's now a footer. And then we have interfaces, which I'll expand. And we have place cylinder. And there's a little green diamond on the interface indicating that this is the default one. If I expand it, you can see the two coincident constraints. And like I mentioned, you can have multiple component interfaces. And maybe I want to also give the person the ability to assemble this using the axis. I'm going to deselect the component interface. Be aware if you have the component interface selected and click on this button. It'll actually try to create a component interface inside of the component interface. But let's click on component interface and I'm going to call this one place axis. And here we have the option to set this as the default interface, but I'm going to leave the other one as the default. For my constraint in this case, I'm going to use this axis with the coincident constraint and the same flat planar surface with a mate constraint. And be aware that you could also change this to be distance, parallel, angle offset, normal, or tangent. So that's good for my second component interface. Let's hit the check mark. And now I'm ready to start placing this component inside of models. Let's go to 
the engine assembly and I'm going to turn off my axis display now. To assemble the component you'll use the regular assemble command and let's grab that bolt and now in the dialog box, excuse me, in the dashboard, there's a button automatically selected to place this using an interface. If you click on the button next to it, you could manually define your different constraints. Right now it's using interface to geometry, or I could change to interface to interface if any of the uh, components in this assembly had component interfaces that were set to either, either or receiving. And from this drop down list, here we have the two different component interfaces in case I wanted to switch to the one using the axis. And now all I have to do is select cylindrical surface, flat planar surface, and there it is in the model. Now I can hold down the right mouse button and from the pop up menu I can choose new location and then pick here and here. Do that again, new location and it ends up becoming much quicker for populating my assembly with a bunch of different components. And I'm going to do it one last time to show you here and here. Let's go to the placement tab and from the placement tab here you can see all the different places in which I located the component and if you decide that you don't want one of them you could right click on it and choose delete and that got rid of that last one. If for some reason the component got placed upside down or in the wrong way, you can select the different constraints. For example, coincident here, and I could use the flip button to get it pointed in the direction that I want. And also at this point, you could add different constraints uh, or remove some of the constraints that came over from the component interface. But I'm happy with this, so I will hit the check mark or middle mouse button and now I've got all my components populated in here quickly and easily. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.